tonight we're talking about the Cannondale Trigger 1, one of all of our favorite bikes in the test. My favorite thing was that funky, scary rear shock that I'm absolutely in love with. Yeah, that, this bike had a whole bunch of scary things when I first looked at it. <laughs> it the shock was one of those, it's a pull shock, it's got uh, two, two air volumes on for the travel adjust between 90 and 120. We've also got the lefty up front. Lefty looks strange, it's just single sided. Uh, it's 130 mil trout and it's also got the strange stem thing. All these things combined to make me look at this bike and go, no chance. But it's the ride that, that we yeah. were all stoked on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I was blown away at the end. Yeah, I, I absolutely loved the bike on our course. I thought it was super light, super nimble. Well, it is super light. It's 23.9 pounds. Without pedals? Yeah, without, without pedals. 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 And it, it, was, it was far more capable than the weight or the looks would ever give it. And the wheel size, it's another example that 26 inch wheels are absolutely at home in this category. It's just, it's fantastic. I thought it was a super fast bike. Um, and the, the lefty is a huge improvement, I think, as, as, over the old lefty. Unless you want a funky adapter that is gonna add weight and take away from the clean look, you're gonna, you need a Cannondale stem. So, I mean, we were talking, oh, we'd, we'd like the front end to be a little bit lower. You know, we didn't have, you know, a case of Cannondale stems to try out. You know, we have a whole bunch of regular stems, but you're gonna have to have a Cannondale stem. It's a beautiful stem, super stiff, but it's like, it, it, you're stuck with that stem if you want that, that clean look and want to tune it. And I think everyone on the test, everyone was unanimous on that. They'd like it a little lower. Yeah, 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 just a so little lower, certainly back a little bit for what this bike could be unleashed as. I mean, the geometry on it, it's got a 13 inch bottom bracket, 16.7 inch rear end, uh, 69 inch head angle. All these things are quite trailing. It's a very lo low, short end rear bike and it felt really sporty on the trail. So maybe having a little shorter stem, lowering it down would unleash the front end a little bit more. I, th I think the only thing that I really was a little disappointed on this bike is there's no rear through axle. Um, it, we've gotten along for years without them, but they're becoming such an advantage and it's actually becoming the prominent standard now. And we call it sporty and nimble thanks, I think in part to the 26 inch wheels. We, I, at least I think that this bike would be a little more at home with a 29 inch wheel than mm -hmm. they're working on one. But, but uh, it, it, we loved it. The, 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 we loved everything about it. We wouldn't change a thing about you, buddy. Again, we weren't thinking about the wheels. Yeah, I true. think this is another one of those cases where I was like riding, the, riding our test loop and never thought about the wheels. Yeah. yeah, and it's on the short end of the travel range, but we all agreed it's one of the one of the more plusher feeling bikes. I had two rides on this bike, and the first time I thought, mm, is this a trail bike? I think this bike could have potentially won, for speed alone and for performance, it could have potentially won the XC category. It dives into that, but I think after doing a second ride on it on a different trail, far more aggressive, and we're really getting loose and rowdy on it, this bike has got incredible trail manners. Mm -hmm. I think, it, but it could easily double as a race bike. Yeah, yeah. Especially on a burlier course, yeah, burlier, yeah. burlier mm -hmm. race. Whatever you want, if you want to have fun with it, up, down, sideways, backwards, upside down, this thing will do it. It's a. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs>